Hello, this is the Cambridge Flyers practice listening test, test two. Part 1. Listen and look. There is one example. Where are all our friends? Where's Daisy? She's over there, reading a book. Oh yes, I can see her. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. What about Michael? I can't see him. He's riding over there. But there are two boys. Which one's Michael? He's riding a horse and he's wearing a green shirt. And who's that girl? Do you mean the girl standing up? Yes, she's listening to a CD. That's Katie. She thinks pyramids are boring. She only likes music. Who's that girl looking at the smallest pyramid? Do you mean the girl who's carrying a camera? Yes. That's Helen, I think. She loves taking photos. Where's Jim? Can you see the boy in the red shorts and the blue shirt? Is he climbing the pyramid? Yes, that's right. That's Jim. Ho! Oh, look at that boy. Where? Next to the biggest pyramid. Oh, that's William. Look, he's riding a camel. Be careful, William! Now listen to part one again. What about Michael? I can't see him. He's riding over there. But there are two boys. Which one's Michael? He's riding a horse and he's wearing a green shirt. And who's that girl? Do you mean the girl standing up? Yes, she's listening to a CD. That's Katie. She thinks pyramids are boring. She only likes music. Who's that girl looking at the smallest pyramid? Do you mean the girl who's carrying a camera? Yes. That's Helen, I think. She loves taking photos. Where's Jim? Can you see the boy in the red shorts and the blue shirt? Is he climbing the pyramid? Yes, that's right. That's Jim. Ho! Oh, look at that boy. Where? Next to the biggest pyramid. Oh, that's William. Look, he's riding a camel. Be careful, William! That is the end of part one. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. What's your surname, Sarah? Greenall. Can you spell that for me, please? Yes, it's G R E E N A L. Thank you. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. Would you like to have dancing lessons here? Yes, please. I love dancing. Good. How old are you, Sarah? 
I'm nine. I'm going to be ten in August. Good. Can you tell me your phone number, please? It's eight four nine zero double three. Right. And which school do you go to? Boris Hill. Oh yes, I know that one. Now, which day would you like, Sarah? Sorry. Which day would you like to come for lessons? Monday, Wednesday, or Friday? Oh, Friday is best, I think. That's fine. Now the last question: How did you know about us? I don't understand. Sorry, I mean, who told you about this school? Oh, I see. My cousin. Okay. We'll see you next Friday at five o'clock then. Thank you. Bye. Now listen to part two again. Would you like to have dancing lessons here? Yes, please. I love dancing. Good. How old are you, Sarah? I'm nine. I'm going to be ten in August. Good. Can you tell me your phone number, please? It's eight four nine zero double three. Right. And which school do you go to? Boris Hill. Oh yes, I know that one. Now, which day would you like, Sarah? Sorry. Which day would you like to come for lessons? Monday, Wednesday, or Friday? Oh, Friday is best, I think. That's fine. Now the last question: How did you know about us? I don't understand. Sorry, I mean, who told you about this school? Oh, I see. My cousin. Okay, we'll see you next Friday at five o'clock then. Thank you. Bye. That is the end of part two. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. A teacher, Mr. Hall, is talking to the children about some postcards. Which postcard did each person send? Look, children. These are some of the postcards I got this summer. Come and see. Wow, Mr. Hall, you got lots. Yes, my family all went to different places. This one's from my sister. She went to stay in a forest on her holiday. Can you see the bear on the picture? Oh yes. Can you see the letter E? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. This one's good. It's from my son. He went to stay in a beautiful village high up in the hills in the north of the country. They went on lots of walks there. It looks nice, doesn't it? Yes, I'd like to go there one day. Who is this postcard from? Oh, Emma, my cousin sent me that one. She went camping by a famous waterfall. She loves holidays in the countryside, but she doesn't enjoy being on the beach. She says it's boring. Oh. My wife sent me this one. She had to go away for work for three days. She was in a town that was near a lake. She had a great time. She worked in the day and went sailing each evening. We'll go there together next year. It looks good there, Mr. Hall. What about this one? That one is from my mother. She often goes away on holiday. Last year she went to London to see all the museums there, but this year she flew to another country far, far away. She bought this card of a plane. You can see it flying around the world. That's a funny one. And here's the last one. My uncle sent it to me in August. He went to a big city to go shopping there. That's a strange kind of holiday. Perhaps, but he likes doing that. Okay, now we can all talk about our holidays. Great. Now listen to part three again.
This one's good. It's from my son. He went to stay in a beautiful village high up in the hills in the north of the country. They went on lots of walks there. It looks nice, doesn't it? Yes. I'd like to go there one day. Who is this postcard from? Oh, Emma, my cousin, sent me that one. She went camping by a famous waterfall. She loves holidays in the countryside, but she doesn't enjoy being on the beach. She says it's boring. Oh. My wife sent me this one. She had to go away for work for three days. She was in a town that was near a lake. She had a great time. She worked in the day and went sailing each evening. We'll go there together next year. It looks good there, Mr. Hall. What about this one? That one is from my mother. She often goes away on holiday. Last year she went to London to see all the museums there. But this year she flew to another country far, far away. She bought this card of a plane. You can see it flying around the world. That's a funny one. And here's the last one. My uncle sent it to me in August. He went to a big city to go shopping there. That's a strange kind of holiday. Perhaps, but he likes doing that. OK, now we can all talk about our holidays. Great. That is the end of part three. Part four. Listen and look. There is one example. How did Sally go to town? I've just been shopping with my mum. Really? How did you get there, Sally? Did you go by car or bus? No, we decided to walk. It's quicker. Yes, but it's a long way. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. 1. Where did she go first? Which shop did you look at first? Well, I wanted some new shoes. Oh, so you went into the shoe shop first? No, Mum wanted a new dress. So we went to that expensive clothes shop next to the bookshop. 2. What was she doing when the fire started? Did you shop all morning? No, because there was a big fire in the supermarket in the high street. Were you in the supermarket when it started? No, we were looking in the chemist's window across the street when we heard the noise. It was a very big fire. I was afraid. 3. Where did she have lunch? What did you do next? Did you come home? No, we went to have some lunch. But weren't the restaurants and cafes closed because of the fire? Yes, they were. So we had a sandwich in the park. 4. What has she bought for Katie? Katie's going to university soon, isn't she? Yes, so we wanted to buy her something. And have you bought her something to help her study? Like a computer? She's got a computer and a radio, so we've bought her a very good camera. 5. When is she going to give it to Katie? And when are you going to give it to Katie? Well, she's going to leave tomorrow evening. Are you going to give it to her in the morning? No, Mum's going to cook her favourite food for lunch and we'll give it to her then. That's nice. Now listen to part four again. One, where did she go first? 
Which shop did you look at first? Well, I wanted some new shoes. Oh, so you went into the shoe shop first? No, Mum wanted a new dress, so we went to that expensive clothes shop next to the bookshop. Two. What was she doing when the fire started? Did you shop all morning? No, because there was a big fire in the supermarket in the high street. Were you in the supermarket when it started? No, we were looking in the chemist's window across the street when we heard the noise. It was a very big fire. I was afraid. Three. Where did she have lunch? What did you do next? Did you come home? No, we went to have some lunch. But weren't the restaurants and cafes closed because of the fire? Yes, they were. So we had a sandwich in the park. Four. What has she bought for Katie? Katie's going to university soon, isn't she? Yes. So we wanted to buy her something. And have you bought her something to help her study, like a computer? She's got a computer and a radio, so we've bought her a very good camera. Five. When is she going to give it to Katie? And when are you going to give it to Katie? Well, she's going to leave tomorrow evening. Are you going to give it to her in the morning? No. Mum's going to cook her favourite food for lunch, and we'll give it to her then. That's nice. That is the end of part four. Part five. Listen and look at the picture. There is one example. I'm drawing a picture of the park. That's nice. Can I help? Yes, if you like. Can you see the ball which the boy is kicking? Yes. Well, colour it black. Can you see the black ball? This is an example. Now you listen and colour and draw. One. Can you see the kite? Which one? The kite which the boy is flying? No, the small kite which the girl is playing with. Colour it blue. Okay. Two. Now look at the two women. The women who are sitting down. Yes, that's right. Look at the one in the hat. Yes, I can see her. Now colour her dress red. Okay. Three. Can you see the two dogs? Yes, one is big and one is small. That's right. Now colour the bigger one brown and the smaller one black. Okay, I like dogs. Four. Now, what about the sky? Shall I draw something in it? That's nice. Draw a plane. Where shall I put it? Um, above the tree. Okay. Five. Now look at the three men who are running. Yes, I can see them. All right. Why don't you colour one of their T-shirts? Okay. 
Which one shall I colour? What about the fattest man? Colour his T-shirt green. OK, that's a good colour. Now listen to part five again. One. Can you see the kite? Which one? The kite which the boy is flying? No, the small kite which the girl is playing with. Colour it blue. OK. Two. Now look at the two women. The women who are sitting down? Yes, that's right. Look at the one in the hat. Yes, I can see her. Now colour her dress red. OK. Three. Can you see the two dogs? Yes. One is big. And one is small. That's right. Now colour the bigger one brown and the smaller one black. OK. I like dogs. Four. Now, what about the sky? Shall I draw something in it? That's nice. Draw a plane. Where shall I put it? Um, above the tree. OK. Five. Now look at the three men who are running. Yes, I can see them. All right. Why don't you colour one of their T-shirts? OK. Which one shall I colour? What about the fattest man? Colour his T-shirt green. OK. That's a good colour. That is the end of the Flyers' practice listening test too.